my friends, welcome back to the Triple W Plot Avenger dot com where we just don't want to hear the news, we want to understand the news. And before I get to the news, let me dispel some rumors. The Plot Avenger is still alive. Yes. Sorry for the extended summer hiatus. But it was on an international mission. Uh, the Swedish bikini team was in trouble in Central Africa. I had to get down there and do my deal. And long story, can't go into details, but suffice to say, a good time was had by all. Now, what is today's news that's got the Plaid Avengers plaid panties in a bunch? Just this, China just passed Japan to become the number two economy on planet Earth. Yeah! Go China, go! What's the deal with that? Why it's important? Well, let's entitle this one Yuan Trump's Yen and get to some of those questions, shall we? Now the Yuan is the Chinese dollar and the Yen is the Japanese dollar. And this isn't about monetary exchange or no crap like this. We're talking about GDP, the gross bleh, domestic product. And that is kind of the assumed measure of the richest economies on planet Earth or the poorest. And that's just how much stuff is produced and consumed in each state per year. The largest GDP and therefore the largest economy on planet Earth, of course, is the United States, Uncle Sam, woo! With $14 trillion economy, year in and year out. Damn, 14 trillion, yeah, it's a 14 with a hell load of zeros after it. but. China is now the number two, and they just took over this number two slot in the last economic quarter, which isn't a whole year, but the last economic quarter, quarter of a year, their economy outperformed and was bigger than the Japanese economy for the first time in modern history. And it's way ahead of schedule. Now we'll get to that in just a second, but to get some numbers so you can associate uh, both China and Japan now are roughly worth $5 trillion a year, GDP-wise, for the whole year. And, and again, they're neck and neck. China, just for the first time, just edged out the Japanese. And a lot of political and economic analysts and fancy professor types with lots of letters after their name, because they're important, will say, oh, the Planet of is full of shizzle. Uh, Japan will rebound. This is just one economic quarter. There, you can't say that China is the second biggest economy now from now on. Bullshit if I can't. I just did. They are correct. It's going to go back and forth like any horse race. It's neck and neck right now at $5 trillion. And sometimes Japan's going to do a little better and sometimes China's going to do a little better. One of them, they're going to swap back and forth the number two and number three spot for a little bit longer. But let's just be realistic, my friends. I want you to be smart, not politically correct. It's over. Stick a fork in the Japanese economy. This game is done. China is the second largest economy on planet Earth. And now the horse race is on for them to catch the number one slot, the United States. I know Japan will probably perform better next quarter, but look at the bigger picture of what's going on here. And more importantly, to understand the bigger picture, we need to talk about why this happened right now and why did it happen ahead of schedule. Because anybody that knows anything about world economies already saw this coming. This is not a surprise that China overtook Japan. It's slightly a surprise that it happened this quickly. And people are all now recalibrating how fast the Chinese economy is going to catch up with the United States. And they are shaving decades off that number right now, my friends. And that's what I want you to be smarter about. So what's going on here? Why did this happen right now? Why is the, ja the Chinese economy accelerating over top of everybody else? ahead of schedule. Well, first off, the Chinese economy has been exploding for decades now. Should not be a surprise to anybody unless you've been living under a rock. And they actually leapfrogged both France and Germany last year whoop, whoop, to take the number three slot. And now whoop, they've taken the number two from Japan. So they've really been hustling hard here in the last several years. But People didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. Why? Reason one, Japan's economy sucks. Japan's economy is as stagnant as a 10-year-old Godzilla stool sample. I mean, there ain't been shizzle happening down there 
for decades. The same amount of time that China's economy has been exploding, and you can attach the number 30 years. It's been about 30 years the Chinese economy has been surging forward. Ever since they gave up on communism, ever since Mao Zedong died, and they retooled their economy towards a capitalist economy, they have been booming for 30 years. That same 30 years, Japan's economy has kind of been flustered and stagnating. It was, not the whole 30, but by the early 1990s, Japan was going nowhere. They've had zero economic growth year after year after year. Their stock market, the Nikea stock index, has been flat growth for 30 years, which means if you'd have put $10,000 in the New York Stock Exchange 20 years ago and $10,000 in the Nikea Japanese Stock Exchange 20 years ago, you go get your money back out of Wall Street right now in New York and you'd have like 50 or 60 grand. You would have the exact same 10,000 in Japan. In the Nikea, it's been flat, no growth, nothing. Nothing is happening there. And on top of that, the world economic recession, which has kicked in the last three years, has stymied Japan even more. It, Japan's rich, don't get me wrong. They're worth $5 trillion, their economy is. High standards of living, people are wealthy there. They live well, but they're not growing. They're not getting any bigger. Things aren't happening, it's not active. People aren't buying as much. Consumers aren't buying as much, therefore businesses aren't producing as much. They're not getting any bigger. And that's why I'm saying, put a fork in them. China is the number two economy. Japan is not getting any bigger and they're not going to get any bigger, China is because while the world recession has slammed the US, slammed Western Euro Europe, and really, oh, buddy, slammed Japan, it ain't really hurt China that much. And China has had this explosive growth for decades. Some parts of the last decade, double digit economic growth, which means their economy gets 10%, 11%, 13% 11 bigger every year. Every year. That is phenomenal growth. And Japan's stagnant. The writing's on the wall. Now, why is it that China's economy is exploding so much and Japan's not? Because China's just getting into this capitalist game. They're still young at it. They've been doing it 30 years, but they just are now coming kind of full circle into how all this is working. And they've got 1.3 billion Chinese people who are all working their little Chinese chestnuts off to make that economy hustle and vibrant and produce more and do more. And on top of that, they now have a growing middle class who are spending more than ever before and they're outspending the Japanese. Now that is crucially important to understand the future. Well, what am I talking about? Am I just raging? Yes, I am raging. But I want you to get not just now, but later. Why is it we know the Chinese economy will be number two until they catch the United States? Because with this growing and vibrant middle class in China, which is just getting warmed up, it's just now starting to be focused on material goods and having higher salaries and making more money and buying more stuff and buying property and cars. And yeah, oh, ah, oh, they're just getting started. And there's 1.3 billion of them. In Japan, everybody's already got all that shit. They already got their Toyotas and Hondas and, and, and houses and, and Wii's. They already own everything. Yes, Japanese people still go out and buy some stuff, but not that much. There's not that much more for them to buy. The Chinese got a lot more to go, not just in producing, but buying. Because dig this, the Chinese, of course, are the workshop of the world. Half the damn goods in the United States are made in China. Everything in Walmart's made in China. So every time China exports stuff, they make lots of money, which is why their economy grows. But increasingly, the Chinese people themselves are getting richer and they're buying more stuff. Oh, 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 do you understand why that makes me so Chinese excited? Because that's what we call an internal economic engine. Yes, they're still making hell tons of money exporting goods. But now they've got a billion people who are buying the goods here too. Basically, you're doubling the size of your market and they're just getting started.